Hi. Um, I'm Judson Graham, sitting on Trevor Steele's Dudek Warp 2 18 meter. I just came out of its bag, which is quite spacious, the Dudek dust bag. And today is a lovely, slightly overcast, but not very overcast day in Buckley, Washington. A little bit of wind. I've got a wing that I'm gonna take into the sky and tell you about. It's the Dudek Warp 2. I just told you about that. I've been flying my Freeride 2 14 meter for quite some time now, and while it is possibly the best ripping around wing I've ever flown, uh, that the Freeride does not instill confidence in me in anything but the smoothest of air. And most of the time when we fly anywhere but, I don't know, the beach or these very special moments where it's perfectly smooth, it's a little bumpy and I feel scared on my free ride, so I want something bigger and better. want something bigger and better at handling turbulence that just instills confidence in me to go fly around that I don't have to be on a little rocket ship that I'm trying to keep open the whole time. And that is what the warp is. And it should be fast, efficient, slightly more stable, still dynamic-ish glider. So let's take it up in the air and give her a little uh, review. Test flight, first impressions. I've flown it once. Let me show you around this wing. Let's check out the risers real quick. Judek build quality has always been Great. This is a, a slightly complex, probably one of the most complex motorizers. You get your A in the front, B's, C's, and D's. It is a four line configuration, kind of like the free ride. Got your nice Dudek brake toggle. Great brake toggle from the factory and great 2D setup from the factory. Dudek trimmer, very long and marked with numbers. This trim buckle is very snug, does not slip, uh, but when you load it up, it does get really tight. Oh, the one thing I do like, which I'll show you in the air, is this tip steer toggle right here, mounted next to the riser connection point, goes up to the tip steer line, so when you're flying around on speed bar, you can, you can just use the tip steer toggle. Cells, yeah, it's got them. Very rigid construction. And then also in the trailing edge, there is battens, like rod material, you see that, in the trailing edge. You know, people were curious what I was listening to and commented about it last time. Today it's Metter Modern Sounds in Country Music by Sturgill Simpson. Drift Airmobile, no, Warpmobile. For people wondering, I'm launching a little inside six on the trimmers. Is real nice. We're on the warp mobile. There she is. So the launch, when you hit it, there's a little weight to it. It's a uh, full weight fabric, unlike my free ride, and it's a little more fabric. But as soon as you give those A's a push, it just shoots right up overhead. The next thing I like about this wing is it's not smooth right now, and I don't care. It's a little more reflex. It just eats turbulence like a total sham, and it just makes me feel really comfortable in. Less than I need here. Oh, let me show you the, the little toggles. Yeah. Okay, troopers are out. And she's fast. So you just grab these guys, and you can see the tip steer line's also on the toggle right here. There it is. But then this one comes down here, and you get the same thing. And you can just turn wherever you want. Oh, there's Wes. Yeah, so I should say this is a pretty High performance wing. This isn't like a beginner wing by any of this stretch of the imagination. It's Dudek's highest performance wing in terms of efficiency. I, I would say this is a pretty solid cross country machine. Trimmer's out. It doesn't really oscillate. Here, let's see. Okay, we're rocking. We're rocking. I'm not weight shifting at all. So, you gotta stop it, but it's very easy. Viper XC will uh, will not do that, but I think this is faster. Like, I'm on an 18. Let's see how fast we're going. XC Nav, an app by Caleb Johnson, like 25 miles an hour. 24. 44. So, somewhere in the high 30s with the trimmers out, which is fast. 
I just like how it's just so stable, yet so fast. And these are nice. I guess you can thumb them. Yerk, yerk. This wing has power attack, which means when you push the speed bar, it pulls the front of the wing down, decreasing the angle of attack, as any wing with speed bar does. But it also has a rope, it goes from there to there, and then the trimmer is actually hanging from that. So when you push the speed bar, this comes down and the back goes up, so you get like a dual action acceleration. And uh, here we go. <laughs> that is some speed, boys. Bar pressure is very light, which is nice. 35 miles an hour. 38, 37. Pressure on the speed bar for the tip steer is really solid right now. It doesn't really want to turn. fast but it's also comfortable i don't feel nervous the free ride when you go full speed you're like oh my god this is really fast uh which it is it's like 50. you can see the trimmer line is loose here because this power attack actually gives you full speed of the glider when your trimmer's in so you can go from trimmers in push the speed bar get full speed which is full trimmers up and bar that's why this is slack because the trimmer's out a little bit you know, in all honesty, I've been enjoying just flying around uh, sightseeing more recently. Chill flying, not just reaming it out all the time. It does give me a little confidence to just have a little more fabric over my head, you know? That 14 is so much, or really so little. All right. I like these toggles. You could grab them up high, you could grab them down low. I like grabbing up high. By the way, this is how I grab a pie. Two fingers on the on the off grid, two fingers here. You let the rest of the toggle go between the middle and the ring finger, and there you are. And this is you get so much more control. You got leverage, bro. I think we need to barrel roll it. Let's see how it barrel rolls. It does the thing all right. Still very dynamic. A little windy down here. the warp. It's nice in turbulence. Yeah, like this is bumpy air. Like, eh, whatever. There's a lot of wind down here. Like, I would be very uncomfortable right now on my free ride. It doesn't encourage me to pull the brakes a lot. What I do like about the free ride is the brake range is really deep. I feel like I can get into it and be very comfortable. This, it feels like you don't want to pull as much brakes. Like you can, the wing actually does like a little bit of horseshoe situation. I 
we'll be doing a few more wingovers on it to give you the, the full, full dig on it. It doesn't stop over the head like the free ride, but again, it's got more mass. It's not a fair comparison. I'm just more like going off what I'm calibrating on. The roll rate. Goes Wes. Dude, Wes is nailing his barrel rolls. the thing no effort very nice very easy very chill I mean like not chill very dynamic oh man landing at 18 even downwind is so gentle yeah, that was full downwind and still, like, very soft. I like it a lot. You want to take her up real quick? Motor's on. around more than you normally do. Say it's like. pretty comfortable to drift air? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like more. Yeah, a little rollier. Mm -hmm. Well, that concludes my warp video. I like it. Really good at what I want the wing to do. Be efficient, be comfortable in turbulence, be fast, be very stable as a camera platform, but still hooliganize a little bit. It hooliganizes. Uh, what, what? Is that Wait. even a word? I made it. I like it. Thanks for watching the videos. Appreciate you guys. Haven't been doing an intro in the past few. I feel like, you know, these kind of drag on. But uh, until the next one, fly safe, fly good, don't suck, and uh, see you later. You want to come here and censor up?